Hi everyone, today we will discuss about name based classifier algorithm in machine learning. Actually, what do you mean by a name based? This method is a probabilistic machine learning model based on Bayes theorem with a name assumption of future independence. It is the most popular method for text classification like sperm deduction in email this method has several advantages number one is very simple easy to understand and implementation is also very reliable number two it can handle large amount of data set with high dimensional number three it requires only less amount of data to train its model Nay based classifier so before going to that topic let us see some examples you know how the company performs these classification number one the spam filtering concepts in email then two text classification in your newspapers or online news reading websites or the social networks like instagram facebook they have implementing the sentiment analysis for the users let us see how implement this concept with the help of the naive bevis classification rule machine learning is classified into supervised and unsupervised learning supervised is further classified into classification naive bevis comes under the classification supervised machine learning approach based on the bevis theorem how this algorithm works simple concept of tossing a coin so here we are going to toss two coins here are the sample space we are obtaining the first option is both are heads the second option is head and tail then third option is tail and head both coin are display as tail probability of getting two heads is 1 by 4 which means that this is the condition so divided by total number of sample space so this is second one is at least one tail so this one this one this one is comes under the at least one tail so three divided by four and the third and fourth are the conditional probability we can see what you mean by a conditional probability here the second coin being head given the first one is tail so the probability for this is one by two here you can see the fourth one here we have to get two heads given the first coin is head okay so these two so one by two the base theorem formula is given by probability of a given b that is equal to ratio of probability of b given a into probability of a divided by probability of b here the probability of a and b is defined by p of a and p of b here you can look at that p of a given b and b given a that represents the conditional probability so what are the conditional that they are given and based on the condition we are going to define their probabilities both 3 and 4 are the conditional probabilities now this is the condition so based on the day discount and free delivery we are going to define whether we are going to buy the product or don't buy the product okay we have to find all the probabilities so in the day column we are having weekdays weekend and a holiday day discount whether we are having yes or no two conditions then whether free delivery is applicable for that product or not applicable okay we are having a name base data set having 30 rows in that rows it is classified as a day discount free delivery based on these classification whether the customer purchased the product or not so we have to split up the frequency table here in this frequency table you can see that there are three conditions number one is discount then free delivery and day okay so based on the discount whether we buy or not buy so based on the days whether we buy or don't buy based on the free delivery whether we buy or don't buy okay when we sum up all the values on this table we can get the total samples 30 
k30 you can look at that here it is you sum up all the values is 30 here also is 30 here also is 30 so these are all the condition here this by option that defines as a okay so this is the event then this day free delivery and discount these are all independent variables this is defined as p okay so all the independent variables are defined as p and this by option is classified as a so previously we split up the data into three tables among the tables we have chosen the day option first okay so in this day option frequency table we have to define the likelihood table from this frequency table okay now we can see this here weekdays week and holiday whether that person buy or not this is the condition so first you have to add all the terms you get 24 in s option in no option you can get six okay in column base you have to add then we can find whether the person buy or don't buy to sum up all the terms and add one extra row here extra column and you have to sum up all the values there now you can see from this table how a likelihood table is calculated here you have to substitute this 24 in all the yes values so 9 divided by 24 7 divided by 24 8 divided by 24 okay here in the no option you have to substitute this value so 2 by 6 1 by 6 and 3 by 6 okay so this is how this value comes here okay now we know the total data set value is 30 so 24 divided by 30 comes here then 6 divided by 30 okay then in the row wise you can see that 11 8 11 so 11 by 30 8 by 30 11 by 30 which means that it is divided by the total sample space value here p of b that represents a big day it is defined by 11 by 30 you can see this is a big day okay whether the person buy or not both comes under this condition so on weekday it is defined by p of b it is 11 divided by 30 so it is 0 0.37 okay then p of a that represents no buy the person don't buy anything okay so this is the buy option so this is no buy condition that is 6 divided by 30 okay so this is how p of b and p of a is defined then the probability of b given a the conditional probability is given by p of b given a so big day then no buy okay so this is big day and there is no buy is 2 divided by 6 okay this is how it comes okay so you can see that how they calculate the values now so 11 by 30 is 0 0.367 p of a no buy is 0 0.2 p of b given a is 2 by 6 which is 0 0.33 now based on the base rule we can find out what is probability of a given b okay by substituting all these values we can get 0 0.179 okay now see the next condition the next condition the same rule is applied with the probability of buying the product okay for buying the product here p of p by given big day okay so whether the person is buy means that is given by 0 0.817 so the probability of buying the product is much more than probability of not buying the product so we can conclude that the customer will buy the product on that weekday actually we have find out the likelihood table on the day option similarly for discount and free delivery we have to calculate the same you can see this is how we calculated for day this is the frequency table for day from that we can calculate the likelihood table based on that for discount also we are calculating then for free delivery also we are calculating the same likelihood table now we have to calculate the conditional probability on the following data if a purchase is made on the day means the condition probability is fine by probability of a given b the day is holiday we have made the purchase so 8 divided by 24 it comes here then 
discount is available so we have made the purchase so now 19 divided by 24 here then free delivery is also applicable so 21 divided by 24 then the total probability 24 divided by 30 that comes here okay it is simplified as 0 0.986 the probability of purchasing a product is 0 0.986 or and not purchasing is 0 0.178 so from that we can observe that on the day whether it is a holiday and free delivery and discount is available means there is a high probability of the customer buying that product. This method has several advantages. Number one is that implementation is very easy and the concept is easy to understand for both the experts and the beginners. Then it requires only a small amount of training data than other algorithms fast in calculation of real time data sets implement this concept of navis bayes in text classification procedure you all know that you are seeing a website page in a news website page okay you can see that scrolling option is available whether it is a india world a business technology so these are all the news groups okay and uh, related to that that data that we call as a news subgroups okay now we can see how the classification of this texts are made first we have to load all the necessary libraries that we have to import from the sklm data sets we have to define what are the categories that involves in the news lines okay then we have to train the data on these specified categories okay so after training we have to test the data of the same categories that we subdivided. So after importing all the necessary packages, then based on the multinomial name is babies, we have to create a model, then train that same model with the data set we provided. Okay. So after training, we have to create label for the test data set. Improve the accuracy and find out the accuracy model. We have to create a confusion matrix and a heat map then plotting heap map of the confusion matrix the true label which one is the actual label in x and predicted label in y graph is plotted so this is a true label in x axis and a predicted label in the y axis so based on the categories we have to split all the data see that this is the category if it is jesus christ means that comes under the religion so the, if, if there is international space station means that comes under space when it is based on the motorcycle means it is recognized as motorcycle then audi is better than bmw so it comes under the automobile categories president of india that comes under the politics finally the text classification is successfully done by this nice babies classifier applications of this nice base the biometric recognition and weather prediction that it is a sunny day or a wintry day in medical diagnosis, it helps to understand uh, the X-ray and MRI CT scans of a patient. Then the news classification that we discussed earlier. I hope you understand the concept of this name is Bayes. I hope everyone understand the concept of machine learning algorithms. Meet you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye from Vijay. Kindly like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you.